Hey guys and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I will share with you again some tips and tricks to find a nether fortress. But this here is right now a hardcore survival world. Therefore you have to pay more attention to where you place your blocks and how you move. First of all I have started to build my journey here with a hub for my nether portal. So the tip number one. Press escape, go to the options and select the video settings. Now here at the render distance you should take it to the far right to 32 chunks and with the change setting you shall start searching for a fortress. But keep in mind the game can lag a little bit more than usual. And yes, I have prepared the video here. I have built a little bridge to my very first nether fortress. I found it pretty easy. The second tip to search for nether fortresses in Minecraft is to look out or to watch out for a lava lake. Something similar like that one below there. Or even behind me, there's a lava lake too. But I thought, okay, let's move there. Since uh, I don't, <laughs> I don't like to explore the Nether on hardcore so much. It is better to search for your Nether fortress where there are some more Nether rack mountains and not where it's just flat lake. Therefore, I didn't want it to go there since the lake ends there and there's no nether fortress I went in the opposite direction and searched in the open but I'm surrounded here with nether rack mountains left and right from me and here you can already see the nether fortress structure and it's very crucial to actually to set the settings to 32 chunks or else if you do play like me here on maybe 6 or 8 chunks I wouldn't have seen the fortress so quick. Here you can see in the game I do not see the fortress but here okay some steps more and I can already gather something of it and a little bit further I can see the structure of the fortress. Therefore, if you do search for a nether fortress, change the render distance to the maximum. And you can even see the greater picture of the nether fortress very soon. And of course I have even built a little staircase up there. You can see some torches here and there placed up or into the fortress. And that's it. Here is the top of the first tower of the fortress structure. And I have one wither skeleton over there. I guess there should be the spawner. Usually the spawner is set in a place where you can see those fences or these gates from nether rack. Therefore always keep an eye out for these. Of course I could try to walk to another direction instead of following the lava lake up to the front here I can try to explore the nether this way but there is the nether rack wall or mountain which indicates that there is no place for a fortress there. And yes, I will have to build again my great hub for better protection of ghost fireballs. And since I have the nether portal up here, I have spawned so far one zombie pigman and he has an enchanted golden sword. Pretty awesome, I guess, but not as frightening as mine diamond sword with sharpness 4. It's very easy to get those if you are lucky enough to get one villager 
working for you as an armorer and weapon smith and of course he's already master because only at master tier or expert you will get the first diamond weapon and then the other and it has sharpness 2 therefore take two swords put them on an anvil you have sharpness 3 do that procedure again and you will get sharpness 4 very soon and the full diamond gear I can get with this guy here of course it has some enchantments but they are not the best of course those enchantments on the armor isn't so nice I try to make him my very own book farm I have some cows for leather and and many sugar canes there behind me behind there or in front of me it's behind of my house actually to always have enough paper and then I will just take some random books some lapis lazuli and enchant it here on my table very easy but that's enough for today I wish you all a nice and happy day have fun and good luck exploring your nether world in your minecraft survival world keep in mind you should change the video settings back to 8 or 10 chunks or else your computer may freeze or if you do have a very nice i don't know high class computer you do not have to worry about it but it is a very nice and handy option to just adjust the setting to see for the maximum render size of 32 chunks. Have a nice day and goodbye!